Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Jim here, and wanted by the FBI is Monica Alfreda Witt, now a former U.S. Air Force counterintelligence specialist who defected to Iran despite warnings from the FBI, has been charged with revealing classified information to the Tehran government, including the code name and secret mission of a Pentagon program, prosecutors said Wednesday, yesterday. Now, the Justice Department also accused Monica Alfreda Witt, who is 39, of betraying former colleagues in the U.S. intelligence community by feeding details about their personal and professional lives to Iran. Now, four hackers linked to the Iranian government charged in the same indictment used that information to target the intelligence workers online, prosecutors said. Now, Witt had been on the FBI's radar for at least a year before she de defected after she attended an Iranian conference and appeared in anti-American videos. She was warned about her activities but told agents that she would not provide sensitive information about her work if she returned to Iran, prosecutors say. She was not arrested at that time. Well, obviously, uh, we can uh, infer that she provided plenty of sensitive uh, information. Uh, and she was once a holder of a top-secret security clearance and uh, provided this, uh, this information to a country which poses a serious threat to U.S. national security. Um, and she's still at large in Iran. And I would say... Uh, Best of luck getting her out of there. But, you know, Iran keeps popping up on the radar, folks, whether it be concerning Israel, whether it be concerning Syria, uh, Iraq, the United States of America, threats made uh, to Israel, Iran, Iran, Iran. It just seems to be boiling out there, boiling out there. I was going to say popping up and my words got confused. <laughs> but uh, it makes me think of this. Way, way back, global warfare. We're going to take out seven countries in five years, being Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and Iran, and this came from uh, General Wesley Clark. Iran, okay, we seem to be behind schedule, but could this all be part of an effort to, uh, I don't know, perhaps uh, a, uh, there'd be some move to go in and extract her from Iran, which could lead to some sort of military conflict? I don't know. I smell something coming here. We'll see what happens, folks, but uh, I will leave you a link to this. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the red bell icon for notifications. Please give this video a thumbs up, folks, and please check out the link below to my latest fiction book, Home, a Wayfarer story available in Kindle and paperback. There's a quick description down there in the uh, description area. If you're awake, if you're watching, if you're believing, if you're feeling, this is fiction for you, and I'm not sure how fictional this is. Please check this out. But most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.